Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code 1514, path with maximum probability. In this problem, we are given a graph and every path has a probability associated with it. For example, 0 to 1 has a probability of 0 0.5, which means the probability of traveling from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0, the probability is 0 0.5. Similarly, it is given for all the other parts. What is the answer that we have to find is we are given a starting point and we are given an ending point. That is we have to start from 0 and we have to end at 2. Let's see what all the paths we got. From 0 to 2, we have this direct option and we have this other option where we will travel from 1, then we will travel to 2. So these are the two options that we have in front of us. But let's see the probability of this. It is given in the problem, the probability of this is 0 0.2. So what is the probability of this? 0 to 1, it's 0 0.5 and 1 to 2, it's again 0 0.5. So the total probability of this is nothing but 0 0.5 into 0 0.5, that will be equal to 0 0.25. So what is the maximum probability out of these two? This, right? So this will be our answer that is 0 0.25. The probability of traveling from 0 to 2 is 0 0.25. That is if you are given 4 days you will just travel 1 day. That is the meaning of this. So before diving into fancy algorithm let's look at the intuition and the approach. For example this is the given graph. Alright. So from 0 say you want to travel to 2 which is the path you will take. This is the path this is the only path this is for sure the path you will take right why because this is the maximum path from zero to anything for example zero from zero this is the maximum path zero to three it is lesser than this zero to one it is lesser than this and further paths will also reduce its value so for sure for two the probability will be 0 0.6 why all the other path that is starting from here will lead to lesser value so using this what we can do what are the next options that we have available one is we can travel from 0 to 1 or we can travel from 0 to 3 or we have already traveled to 2 from 2 we will be traveling to either 1 or from 2 we will be traveling to 4 so these are the next options the first option for sure when we are at 0, the option that is available in front of us is 0 0.6, that is 0 to 2. For sure, we will pick that why that is the path with the maximum probability. Or to put it in simple terms, let's say these are the three paths available and they have to spend here 10 rupee, here 8 rupees and here 2 rupees. So which path you will take? This is the first path you will directly take, right? 0 to 2. Why? Because any other path will lead to higher sum. So the first path that you will be taking is this path. So this is the basic idea of Dijkstra's algorithm. So what we will be doing is we will be selecting the maximum path or the path having the maximum probability at every stage. For example, let's see what is the first option that we have here. The first option that we have here in front of us is 0 to 1. Let's just write 1. So the first option that we have is to 1 with 0 0.5 probability. Then the next option we got is 2 with 0 0.6 probability and to 3 with 0 0.4. So what do we do? We pick up the path with the highest probability first. So let's have the probability matrix which is the first path that we have. We are already at 0. The probability of 0 is 1. So now we reach 2. To reach what is the probability? 0. 0.6. So now we are sure with 0 and we are sure with 1. So from 2, what are the available paths? So once you have completed this path, we'll be adding the next paths that are available from 2. What are they? From 2, you can travel to 1, but I won't write it here because, yeah, I have to write it here. From 2, we have to travel to 1. That will be 0 0.6 into 0 0.3 why we have to multiply the already existing probability into 0 0.3 that will be 0 0.18 what is the other path that we have got from 2 2 to 4 so we have got 4 and what will be the probability 0 0.06 so now again we will 
choose the maximum out of this so what is the maximum of the remaining this will be the maximum of the remaining so 0.5 for sure for one we'll reach at 0.5 and once we have reached one we will write the probability for other two parts but that is not required in this case so i will not be writing it here so after one what is the next option that we have got here that is the maximum that is three so we will write 0. 4 here and what are the parts that are available from 3 from 3 you can travel to either 0 or from 3 you can travel to 4 so to 4 again what is the probability 0 0.28 that is 0 0.7 into 0 0.4 so now again we will pick up the maximum among this what is the maximum so this will be the maximum if you look here that is 0 0.28 and we have also reached the final node that is the end node that we required where our starting was 0 and our end was 4 so our answer will be 0 0.28 if suppose if our end was 3 what would be our answer our answer would just be 0 0.4 to any of the nodes if it was asked this would be our answer so this is the algorithm that is we will choose a path with the maximum probability at every stage now let's conclude come to the implementation fine this algorithm was very easy to say on paper how do we go on to implement this in this problem we are given edges in the format of an array for example this path there is one path between 0 to 1 there is one path between 1 to 2 and so on and how it is given is from 0 to 1 the probability is 0 0.5 and from 1 to 2 the probability is 0 0.3 so this is how it is given in the problem but this will be of no use to us or this we cannot use it directly in our solution so what we have to do is we have to convert this into very easily readable format so what we will be doing here is from 0 what are the paths that are available from 0 the paths that are available is for a we can reach the node 1 with a probability of 0 0.5 so let's store this then again node 2 with a probability of 0 0.6 then again node 3 with a probability of 0 0.4 so this will be the format that we will be requiring that is each node and what are the nodes from this node you can travel with other node for this we can actually use a hash map of integer where the integer will be the node that is 0 in this case and this will be an array list an array list of pairs array list of pairs that is each one of them is a pair and we have an array list of pairs which where the first one will, will indicate the next path and the, this will indicate the that is the key will indicate the node and the value will indicate the probability so once we are done with the hash map now we have the all the nodes and the roots in the required format so once we are done the next thing we have to do was we have to pick up the maximum path right so for this we will be using a priority queue priority queue so what will this priority queue be made of this will again be made of the same thing that is we will have an integer that is a node and we will have a double that is equal to the probability so this will be the priority queue and we will sort the priority queue based on the value of the probability for example 0 0.2 so that is what we will be doing so the two data structures that we will be requiring is one is hash map the other one is priority queue just by using these two we can solve this problem so let's dive into the code before diving into the code there are very similar problem which uses the same algorithm that is dijkstra's algorithm so these are the two problems that i found out easily which will be using the same algorithm so if you want to know the solution to this problem or to discuss this problem please do consider joining the telegram group the link i have mentioned in the description where i will be discussing the approach to these problems so let's dive at the solution the first thing that we'll be doing is we are given in this format we are converting it to an hash map format so that is the first stage that we'll be doing here that is 
converting it to a readable format what we are doing here is we are adding for example if there is nothing zero if there is nothing we are creating a new array list and we are adding the probabilities so that is what compute if absent means and we are adding this and again remember that it is an undirected graph so we have to add from a to b and also from b to a so that is what is being done here so that is the first thing then we are creating a probability array for example 0, 1.0 was the first and these are the probabilities that we haven't found it so this will be 0.0s all along the next data structure that we wanted was a priority queue so we are creating a priority queue where the first element will be the integer that is the node and the second element is the probability and we will be adding the first node why because we are already at the first node and the probability of reaching the first node is 1.0 so that will will be adding it to the priority queue now what we will be doing is from this what are all the available paths all the paths we are adding it to the priority queue and only if the value is greater than the maximum probability that is here we had zero right in this original array we had 0.0, .0. now if you get a value of 2.0 sorry <laughs> of 0.25 will be updating this value to this value and we will be adding all the pairs to the priority queue if we don't have such path we will return 0.0, .0. so this is the final solution to this problem thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe